What's up guys, I'm going to be making a quick little tutorial here on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 on AT&T. Um, pretty sure it works with some other types, I'm not entirely sure, but as you can see this one does not flip your flash counter, uh, trip your flash counter. Chip your flash counter. Sorry, I cannot talk. But, um, so basically, you are good to flash anything. Once was Clockwork Mod Recovery on, um, it does come up as a custom firmware, but, um, other than that, it's not at all detected, and you could always just flash your, um, over the firmware, and it will not pick it up as custom at all. So, this is what you do. You basically, I will give you this little folder I made of everything to root it. You're going to need, and uh, nope. you're going to need the Clockwork Mod. Sorry, let me focus here. Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, file to put on your external SD card or your micro SD card. Um, you're going to need. Oh yeah, you do need that for Clockwork Mod. You do need micro SD card. Uh, you'll need Odin 3.0.7 and the stock root file and if you don't already have them installed, the Samsung drivers, you can get those from the Samsung website uh, you could, I guess, Google Galaxy S3 drivers from Samsung or um, I could look for a link um, no, no, no. yeah, this guy didn't post one I guess he just assumes you would have it uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. So anyway, what you do... Oh, he does have a thing right here for um, ADB install setup also. You'll need that if you don't already have that. I have that from uh, previous reading. But, so once you have that, go ahead and open up Odin. And here's your thing. Basically, once connecting your phone, you're going to turn it completely off. And we're going to put it into downloading mode. To do this, you hold down. Sorry, I'm actually using my phone. I'm not going to be doing this to my own phone because it's already been done. Um, but trust me, it works very easily. Uh, once you're here plugged in, power it off, you hold down the power, volume down, and home button all at the same time for about five seconds. And then once you feel either a vibration or a little noise, some sort of notification, I forget what it is. Um, you can let go of the power button, you don't have to, but basically, I always do. Um, but continue to hold the volume down and the home button, and when the screen turns on, it should say, like a big yellow thing, it's like, um, press volume up to continue, like warning, downloading mode and stuff. And then once you do that, it should put you into Odin mode. It'll say in the top left, like Odin mode, some other specs and stuff. And then you're good to go. Once you have that, you just go over here. Click the PDA button and click stock root 67, um, which I will include in my link folder thingamajog thing, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, can't talk. And then once you've got that, keep all these the way they are. They should be at auto reboot and F reset time, and everything else should be off. Press start and then this little box should show your phone's status and you could watch it as it finishes and let it it'll automatically reboot on its own um, don't touch it or unplug it until it's completely rebooted itself back into Android and then you could check you have super user you could even get root checker and you could see that you've got it basically from there if you want to keep it like that just easy rooted stock like that you can, um, if you don't plan to install anything using uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery or any custom ROMs or Android backups, whatever, you could stop here and stop watching the video, and I hope it helped. But if you want to do the uh, slightly more complicated thing and install Clockwork Mod Recovery so you could do a little bit extra without still flipping this counter, that's so... I don't know, that Samsung has to put in. Um, keep watching. So basically what you need to do is, once you have Android SDK, you need to have, now it is under platform tools, the um, 
ADB shell. And right here, you need to put the um, Clockwork Mod recovery file right here. This one, you need to put that onto your external SD card, just right on the root of it. Um, yeah, so once that's on the root of your external micro SD card that you popped into your phone, this is what you gotta do. Uh, once you get here to your platform tools, uh, basically you open up a command prompt and you can see how I navigated to it. Um, program files, x86. Sorry, let me clear that up. Android, Android SDK, platform tools. Now I'm going to press this. Bam, now I'm there. Now to open up the ADB shell, just ADB. Oh. Cool, right? Um, now I'm in the ADB, I guess, thing. So, um, once here, just paste this little code I give you. And it will basically. <laughs> Once you do that, with your phone plugged in and turned on, with the file on, you just do that. Um, press. Oh, it might ask you to put super user on. If you don't already have it, just let's see you super user. Um, yeah, you need to be plugged in to do that. Sorry. Um, so when you're plugged in, you type in super user. Well, this guy shows you right here. Okay. So once you're plugged in, right here, let's see, this is what you type in. First you type in super user, like that. Once you put ADB, it'll have this little thing, little money symbol, showing you you're in ADB mode. Then you type in super user, SU, to give you pretty much root access, and then you'll get this little pound sign. Then you type in this code, which I will post in the description, and it should just do this, this, that, and then that. Then you type in reboot recovery, just like that. And it should reboot it. And once again, I wouldn't unplug it until it's completely rebooted. But it should uh, reboot it into Clockwork Mod Recovery. You don't have to do anything from here, you can just reboot, but the point is you have it. And just to check that this doesn't flip your flash, like, uh, what do you call it? No, it'll say the uh, SU. The binary thing was never used, um, as opposed to a number if you did it. But, yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. Uh, other than that, that actually getting ADB and stuff, most people don't really get that, and a few little commands in there. But it's uh, pretty simple. If you want just the basic root, like I said, you don't really want clock with mod, you don't want to go that in depth with it, you just want to have root access to do some rooty root things then uh, go for it. Just keep it how it is. But if you do want to have a clockwork mod, basically if you ever want to do things um, and not trip the counter as far as I know, you have to flash everything through clockwork mod on your phone. So I would still stay away. They have um, like uh, I saw some tutorials where you just flash anything with Odin. Uh, don't do that because it could trip your counter if it's not like the very very stock thing like I was showing you um, and they also have this thing right here the Samsung Galaxy S3 toolkit which works for all of them and etc etc but as you can see this thing has a ton of options um, but the thing is it still uses the old technology that well the old method sorry not technology the old method that um, trips the flash counter Hopefully they'll fix that in future updates. I'm assuming they will. And, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, because I know this is going to be a big one, um, feel free to leave comments below. Um, like I said, this is for the AT&T one. Uh, according to them, this method also works for the uh, Rogers, Bell, and Telsa images. So... Yeah, and um, this will keep you on the stock rooted Android TouchWiz. If you guys want to do some cool ROMs, they have came out with a few, like uh, Diet ICS and some other ones. Um, feel free to check them out. I'm looking here at XDA Developers, by the way, 
and I take no credit for this root tutorial at all. This is all goes down to this guy right here, uh, Mr. Robinson, who is the man. Anyway, um, like I said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. I know it worked for me, and I'll see you in the next one.